Uh, in this video, I want to share a few uh, tips on how to grow Java moss immersed outside of water. So if you have some sort of a, a riparium or uh, some sort of a setup where you have uh, emerging uh, driftwood, emerging structures, uh, maybe emerging rocks or something of uh, this type, uh, you would certainly would want to add some Java moss uh, to some of these areas in order to create this natural looking uh, setup. I'll show you what we have in here in order to explain you where and under which circumstances you can actually grow Java moss immersed. So this is our unheated uh, South American riparium setup. Uh, it's, uh, it's a shallow tank. It's uh, about a 100 liter um, setup and uh, it has quite a few uh, riparian plants. Certainly this uh, fern, it dominates everything, but it also has this beautiful Java moss feature. Uh, this is a mixture between regular Java moss and Christmas moss and over time they kind of become very similar, especially when they grow immersed. So as you can see that they, they grow completely outside of water, especially well here certainly outside of water, here for the most part uh, there is some, uh, some of that fern that grows underneath uh, the water level in here, but it's just a few uh, branches. Uh, there's also quite a lot of it uh, in that area over here of course uh, fern kind of overtakes everything but uh, there's quite a lot of uh, moss growing in here there are also some bits and pieces of sphagnum moss this is actually sphagnum moss and this sphagnum moss as well in the back there's also quite a lot of uh, java moss growing uh, immersed outside of water so how to achieve these conditions how to make your java moss grow and thrive outside of water well there's a couple of tips that i can uh, recommend uh, to succeed in uh, growing uh, java moss immersed well both of these tips are quite simple and they require just one ingredient patience a lot of patience just like with a lot of other things in our fish tanks patience is a key here you really need to be patient with your java moss so normally when you would buy java moss or christmas moss or other types of aquarium mosses they will come in two forms either as aquatic plants which have been grown underwater and which kind of used to uh, being underwater or as tissue culture plants is sold in these uh, small uh, plastic containers as in vitro plants, in vitro cultures, in a completely vacuumed uh, space in this small plastic container, uh, deprived of oxygen. So they are in a condition with nearly 100% humidity. Well, here or in a setup like this, obviously there's not much humidity outside, so they are exposed to air, they're exposed to oxygen, uh, there is some humidity because it's close to water, but humidity levels are very low. And obviously, if you take a plant from outside of your fish tank or from this tissue culture container and just add it uh, to, to your driftwood, to other structures outside of your fish tank, it will dry up. If there is no moisture, if there is no humidity, the plant will dry up really fast. And if you just stick a piece of java moss to your driftwood uh, somewhere in your fish tank, it will be dry in a matter of hours or maybe the next day it will be completely dead. So how to keep this alive? So tip number one, when you use a plant that was used to grow underwater or in a tissue culture container, you need to make sure that it is constantly wet. So it's, uh, it doesn't have to be wet 24 hours per day, but it needs to be wet uh, most of the time. So what I do when I just add java moss to uh, driftwood outside of water or to some other structures outside of water, I will spray it with, uh, with filtered water about twice per day when it's just freshly added. So what I would do is I will just spray it like so and uh, make sure that it's kind of wet. But you have to keep in mind that this, this moss, it has been growing successfully in immersed condition for several months. So it doesn't require frequent um, moisture because it doesn't require misting. But when I just added this moss to this setup, I had to uh, spray it with water twice per day, sometimes three times per day 
what you can do as well, you can actually take some container, get some water from your fish tank and just pour it over here to make sure that it stays wet. So the point here is to make sure that your moss doesn't dry up immediately, that it gets this chance, this kind of a fighting chance to, to get established and to start growing in this immersed condition. So that's why you need to make sure that it stays moist most of the time. So tip number two, as time goes by and your moss gets established, so it starts growing, it starts enjoying this abundance of light, abundance of oxygen, abundance of CO2, because obviously there is more light, there is more CO2 uh, outside of water. Once it gets established, you need to uh, decrease the number of times that you moisture it. So if previously you kind of sprayed it with water twice per day, you need to do it first once per day, and then you need to de decrease the number of uh, uh, this uh, spraying times uh, to approximately once per week. So what I do with this moss here, because it's well established, I spray it with water only like once per week and uh, sometimes twice per week. If I forget to do that, that's absolutely fine because it will continue growing as such it is important because if you will keep moisturing your moss continuously all the time it's not going to get adapted to growing immersed so it will get used to this moisture uh, rich environment and it will essentially demand these conditions from you so if you will stop moisturing all of a sudden all of your moss it will dry up so you need to, to make it get used to to growing in these immersed conditions to enjoying oxygen, to enjoying light and receiving as little water as possible. Well, there is another point which can help you uh, to uh, get your moss adapted to uh, growing in immersed conditions. And this is basically to set up some sort of a, a moss farm where you would grow your uh, moss in already uh, kind of a immersed state but with a higher level of uh, humidity. This will be kind of a tran transitional stage for your moss before you add it to your fish tank. I'm going to show you how I grow my moss before adding it uh, to, to my setups. So let's have a look at my uh, small uh, moss growing farm. Well this is actually not a moss growing farm, this is just a container where I'm trying to grow some Amazon frog beets because they haven't been doing great in my fish tank. So I put them in this container with fish tank water on the windowsill and it gets lots of um, sunlight, especially now it's, it's springtime. So it hopefully will grow well and it also serves as a, a drinking um, area for our cat. So we're going to temporarily remove this. And this is our most growing farm <laughs> unfortunately and another attempt to open our moss farm so here it is and um, basically uh, this moss grows uh, in a immersed uh, condition it's obviously that obviously there is a high level of humidity because there is a lid on top of this plastic container so there is no air inside and uh, i've added very little water in here it just co covers uh, the bottom of this container but it doesn't really cover any of the moss so it grows so you can see there's a lot of fresh growth in this immersed condition and it grows quite well so i can essentially take out a piece of this moss and put it somewhere uh, in my fish tank so in immersed condition and it will continue growing provided well in case of this moss it, 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 it's not going to require any moisture kind of already adapted to growing uh, outside of water so it will continue growing that way so but in case of some of these parts in here they will require some moisture environment so they will require occasional spraying but overall I can just take these pieces and I could use them in my fish tanks uh, growing outside of water so this is another place where I grow some of my um, java moss uh, immersed and I kind of prepared for growing uh, uh, in a completely dry environment such as on top of some driftwood in some of my uh, fish tanks. This is actually a small vivarium which only has some parts and isopods and, and springtail. So we are going to open it up and uh, you can see that over there there is quite a lot of uh, 
Java moss, it's actually a mixture also of Christmas moss and Java moss and it just grows amazingly there. It's obviously uh, about 80% of uh, humidity in that container and I spray it with water once in three days or something like this, but it's just growing mad. And I can, I can take bits and pieces of this moss and add it to my fish tank projects if I like, because uh, this moss is already adapted to growing outside of water, so it, it will thrive in conditions uh, such as fish tank conditions. So to summarize, when you first add your moss uh, to your above water structures, uh, when you want to make it grow immersed, make sure that it stays moist, make sure that it doesn't dry up. So uh, spray it with water regularly, ensure that it has some degree of uh, moisture and humidity on it. As the time goes by, decrease the number of times you moist it in order to make it adapted to growing immersed. And eventually it will get used to this drier conditions, to, to this abundance of light and uh, CO2 and it, it will be growing lush and uh, it will be growing quite beautiful and uh, you will have something like this in the end. So it, it takes a bit of patience and uh, essentially uh, just following this uh, two or three steps will be enough to, to have something like this. Right, so I hope this video was useful. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't and uh, please leave your comments in the comment section. I will see you soon.